are there storm clouds or possibly even a hurricane coming for the economy, for the real estate market, for everything in the United States? Well, that is something that CEO, uh, the CEO of Chase Bank, like one of the largest banks in the world. In fact, they were a part of starting the Federal Reserve. I mean, it's a huge bank. He, Jamie Dimon, the CEO, the chairman, and all that sort of stuff, he actually came out and said, in the near future, like sometime in 2022, there's going to be a hurricane in this entire economy for the United States. Well, we also see right now that inflation is literally above 10%. I mean, the government used to tell us like a year ago, oh, inflation, there's no inflation. And then they started saying inflation was transitory. That means that inflation is coming and going. Like it's really not here. It's kind of going to come for a little while, then go away. And then they started saying, okay, okay, you caught us. Inflation is actually like 3%. And then a month later, oh, well, we were wrong. It's now 5%. Well, now they're saying it's like 8 almost even 10%. I believe it's probably even more than that. I just saw a article that was written about Zillow. Zillow was talking to a lot of millennials in buying homes. And one thing about millennials, apparently they were crying that it's hard to buy property. Well, not for us investors. It's not hard for us investors to buy property. I'm like, millennials, come on, get it together. Get it together. Like, I'm glad I'm not actual millennial. I'm like right at the cusp of millennial. But I was like, get it together. It's not that hard to buy property. Now, you need to learn how to do it. It's not easy. I mean, it's simple. You can do it. But anyways, what happened was they said that the millennials were crying because it's so hard to buy real estate as a home. And on top of that, it prices in overall in the entire real estate market in the United States have gone up 35%. Can you believe that? 35% in one year, it has gone up. I know like the only time that's happened before that I've seen is in 2008 with the last market crash. So I'm kind of pairing that up with what Jamie Dimon said, that there's probably going to be some storms brewing. And then he revised that. He said it's going to be a hurricane instead of just a storm. And so when you're looking at, okay, there is a storm and then a hurricane. Prices have gone up 35% in the last year. That's not looking good. Inflation at 10% or more. Then we also see that the government has been printing $80 billion a month, not just like in general, a month ever since, I think it was like 2010, they've been printing money, pumping that into the system. We also see gas prices literally reaching seven, eight, nine, almost $10 a gallon. You might be thinking, well, just a year and a half, it was like $1.89, but now all of a sudden it's like $10 a gallon. Well, it seems like there's gonna be something coming for the economy, not just the real estate market. Now, interest rates has also gone up dramatically compared to the 0% interest rates. I was talking to a friend at church today and he said that he has his interest rate for his personal residence at two and a half percent. I have students now getting interest rates for investment homes at five and a half, six and a half percent. Like they're going up and up and up with a major CEO of a major company, Jamie Dimon. He was there through the 2008 crash. He saw all that. And he is saying that there is going to be a hurricane. It might be a big one. It might be a small one. But he's seeing in 2000 or 22 that there's going to be some things that Chase Bank is actually getting ready for a big economic downturn. Well, if that's happening, is that good for investors or is that bad for investors? Now, I'll tell you, when it's bad is not for us as investors. At Here at Master Passive Income, we buy and hold long-term rental properties. We get Airbnbs. We get mid-term rental properties where people stay in for like six months like traveling nurses. We buy all these types of rental properties that are going to last us long-term. We're not investing for appreciation. The people who will get burnt, the people that will get destroyed in this economy are the ones that are investing for appreciation, but not us. We don't do that. But the people that invest for appreciation, they're the ones that say, I'm going to buy this house in a, like right now, I live in Phoenix and the prices have skyrocketed. The house that I have, that's a rental property. I'm currently living in it. It's 1,250 square feet. They're telling me I could sell it for $450,000. I'm like, this house is not worth $450,000. And on top of that, I wouldn't buy this house for $450,000. Then you look at interest rates going up. That means prices have to come down because people only have, let's say, $2,000 a month in order to pay for either mortgage or a rent. Well, that $2,000 a month doesn't increase with inflation. It doesn't increase when your interest rates go up. No, what does have to change, though, is the price of the home must come down because that $2,000 doesn't go very far when the interest rate is five to 6%.
So what happens is prices are going to come come down. As investors, we're looking at this as a buying opportunity in the future. So it's going to be bad for people who aren't prepared. But for people like us who are prepared, who are long-term buy and hold or short-term, basically we have rental properties that make us money. We do not invest for appreciation. We are going to do fine or we're going to do well through this economy. I started investing back in 2006. That was before the market crashed. And then the market crashed in 2008. I still made money in passive income from every single property. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you how you can capitalize on this market downturn where this is this storm, this hurricane that's brewing. I'm going to show you how you can capitalize, how you can make money because Warren Buffett said, well, when people are buying, you better be selling. When people are selling, you better be buying. Like when there's blood in the streets and metaphorically speaking, but when there's blood in the streets and everybody's panicking, that's when us as investors, that's when we are excited because we start making money. Now it's sad. It's a bummer for everybody else, but we are prepared. And I'll give you the exact way to actually do that in just a second. But I want to give you my real estate investing course absolutely for free. It'll show you how to be prepared for this economic downturn and be able to capitalize on it. If you go to masterpassiveincome.com forward slash free course, it'll link will be in description forward slash free course, all one word or text the word rental. R-E-N-T-A-L to 33777. Rental to 33777. I'll literally give you my real estate investing course absolutely for free, show you everything I'm gonna talk about right now, how to do it more, much more in depth. Now, when we as investors see the economy having trouble, we actually get excited. See, I thought that the economy could potentially turn down back in 2017, 2018. Boy, was I wrong. If I would have stopped investing then, I would not have made money like I am now. Or if I would not have stopped, if I would have stopped teaching my students how to invest in real estate, they wouldn't be buying their properties. They wouldn't be retiring or quitting their job early like they are. So no matter when the market does change, we are always going to be ready to make money, whether the market goes up, the market goes down, the market goes sideways. And here is how we do that. How we make money every single month, and no matter if the market goes up, down, or sideways, is in passive income. Now, it's really, really simple. Whether you're doing short-term properties, midterm, which is like six months, you know, it's traveling nurses type things, or long-term properties where there are year-long leases or longer, we make money in passive income. It's super simple. All we do is we count up all of our expenses. We literally add them up. And then we figure out how much we could rent it for every single month. If it's a short-term property, we add up all of those days that we could rent it for. If it's midterm, we do the same thing. If, we, if it's long-term, we just figure out what our monthly rent is. And then we subtract the monthly rent from our expenses. That difference is our passive income. And in 2008 and nine, the ones that actually went bankrupt, they were the ones that were investing for appreciation or they were buying homes, hoping to have the value go up and then it didn't go up and then the market crashed and then they lost all their money, they went bankrupt. I bought properties in 2006, 2007, 2008, before that crash, and I still made money every single month in passive income. And I will literally give these properties to my kids. They will be the ones that are gonna benefit from this in the future. This is generational wealth that I am building. And so what we do is we do not invest for appreciation. We make sure we could rent the property. And you'll hear me say this all the time. We build the business first. Before you buy any rental properties, we build the business so that the business runs itself. I don't work like you probably have heard of the four hour work week book. I don't like working four hours a week. In fact, I think working four hours a week is for suckers. I only work 30 minutes a month. And that's just by looking at the property management statements, making sure everything looks good, then setting aside and saying, hey, everything's good. Go back to playing with my kids, doing whatever I want. And so when you're investing for cash flow, when you're investing for passive income, we're seeing these signs in the market right now as a very good thing because prices are gonna come down. Now, sadly, people are gonna lose their homes. They did. Now, that is inevitable. It is inevitable to happen. People who are not prepared. Now, us, real estate investors, we need to be prepared right now. Even though it might come like six months or a year from now, this you know hurricane that Jamie Dimon is saying, even though that's gonna happen you know, future, we need to be prepared now because if you're not ready to buy a house now, financially, if you don't have the knowledge how to do it, you don't know where you're gonna do it, you don't have the business built, if you are not ready to buy real estate, when the market does crash, when the market does correct, or whatever it's gonna do, this, this hurricane that's gonna come, if you're not ready, 
You're not going to be able to capitalize on it. See, now, I and my students here at Master Passive Income have been ready for years for something like this. I am looking forward to another 2008 real estate market crash. Now, not in a sense like people are going to get hurt and everything. It's going to be really, really rough if it's as bad as they say it's going to be. But what we're going to do is as best as we can, we're going to capitalize on that. And we're not going to be like vultures. What we're going to do is we're going to buy good houses. We're going to make sure we rent them for a fair market rent. And I suggest it's a little bit lower so we keep good tenants in there that want to continually pay. Because what happens when somebody loses their home, they can't pay their mortgage, the foreclosure happens, they become renters. Prices don't come down when there's economy problems. Prices go up because there's more renters. And so what we do here at Master Passive Income, we buy rental properties, short-term, mid-term, and long-term. I personally suggest you have 80%, this is how I have my portfolio, 80% of my properties in long-term. That is where I can count on the money coming in, where my family's being fed, roof is over ahead, and everything is, you know, all the lights are on. And then 20% would be short-term, where I make more money in the short-term because you make more money with short-term like Airbnb type properties, and we have the steady income in the long term, and we have the speculation or like the, the much more fancy way or like more money that you can make from the short term. We do them both. And at the same time, we're protected. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to start investing in real estate. In fact, before that, you need to get my real estate investing course, get it completely for free. And if you need coaching, I'm literally there for you. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm gonna be stepping out of doing one-on-one -on -one coaching because it's taken so much of my time. I have so many students right now that I'm coaching that I have to step back and we also have the group coaching. That's where I'm gonna start doing much more group coaching and I'm gonna be doing a mastermind group coaching, the next level. So we have the Real Estate Wealth Builders membership. That's where everybody can get in, but we're gonna have the next level membership where anybody who is going to scale their business where they can quit their job, wanna make even more money, scale to six and seven figures, that's this new mastermind. We're gonna be working together so that they can scale their business so they can quit their job even faster and grow even more generational wealth. So you guys are awesome. I really, really appreciate you. Watch this video right here and I wanna see you succeed in this next economic downturn. See you guys.